Hi, I'm Courtney with CAD Company. I wanted to show you a little, little bit about these carburetors on uh, getting the secondaries to uh, open smoothly. Uh, this engine here, we just took it off the dyno. This is the AVS Eidelbrock carburetor. Uh, what was going on with it was it would uh, pretty much fall on its face as soon as the secondaries tried to open. Okay, now whenever we see that with like a, a quadrajet carburetor, it has air flaps on the secondaries also similar to this. And, and there's, a, you, there's an adjustment on them where you can adjust the spring tension. And what you do, you tighten it up slightly so the secondaries can open up smoothly, not just flop open. This model here, its adjustment is right here on the side. It's got a lock screw right here, and this is the main the, the screw that goes through the shaft with the spring on it. Now you see we put used a magic marker, put a mark right there. Originally, where that mark is was under this screw head. That's the way it came out of the box. <clears throat> and it was really loose. It was just it was just flop open easy. Well, I loosened it, I tried a couple positions, and and the original clamp marks are down here at six o'clock um, and it, and it's stiffened it up. All you do is loosen that screw, put a straight blade screwdriver in there and start turning it and you can you can feel it stiffen up. And then next thing you lock it down. This one here ended up with the original marks down around six o'clock. Worked perfect. I mean it <clears throat> it accelerated smoothly, no coughing or hiccuping or hesitating um, so that's that's what you do with these these uh, carburetors any of them that have have an adjustable uh, secondary air flap uh, helps them out tremendously now I imagine this carburetor here if it was put on a small block uh, engine that doesn't have the volume of air going through it the original adjustment would probably been fine but these have a lot of air flowing through them, the big big engine. And what it was doing is it just pulling it open way too quick and uh, creating a, a lean spot. Um, there used to be a, a, a saying, and I believe it, it's true. Uh, remember, I don't know if you remember when, when guys would uh, flip their air cleaner lids and you could really hear the carburetors sucking and uh, anyway, uh, guys would say, boy, when you open up them four barrels, you could really, really feel it. Well, the truth of the matter is if everything's supposed to work smoothly and, and if, if you feel something between the primaries and the secondaries, it's generally a hesitation or a bog, which means it's not opening smoothly. It means you got a little hitch in your get along. And you can usually tune it out with air flaps um, to where it's just smooth. Because if it's smooth, there's no hesitations or anything. I mean, it's just, just the way it's supposed to work. And even, you know, with uh, the extra tension on it, it, it opens it wide open because it, our top end horsepower didn't change a bit. So we knew it was wide open. <clears throat>